plays games with Steve and Angel. All right. Oh boy, here we go. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, do we have to? <laughs> Unfortunately. Sir, I'm a patrolman with General Affairs, sir. Sir. Ow, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard office in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room? That's right, sir. Because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now, the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. Uh, Marshall? Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. It's a cute spray. <laughs> the voice, though. Yeah. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. Yeah. Oh, do you gotta go? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Come oh, yeah, on. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. What Sorry, the heck cool. is this guy doing? So what happened then? After that, sir, I, I, everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. And when I came to, I was here in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Um, might I ask, what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand. Just like Ms. Sky. Oh my god, they're linked. You're, and they were roommates. <laughs> no, you're just god. like you're just like me. <laughs> I'm just like you. <laughs> I'm just like you. <laughs> uh yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. It's for the Barbie fans. <laughs> oh, I do know that one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> first things first, tell us how you hurt your hand. Uh, yeah, let's just first go. First things with. first, right? Yeah. And your hand. That happened when Detective Goodman was stabbed? Well, you see, sir, oh, I er... Angel viscerally <laughs> winced. <laughs> so, right, that's the right reaction here. Yeah. Don't you think you should just... Con Don't you think you should just confess? But, sir, sir, but... There was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, when it happened... When the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. You holler? I could never imagine it. <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. <laughs> the next thing you knew, you were, huh? <laughs> then, when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. Alone because, because Detective Goodman has disappeared. Alone again, naturally. God. I don't even know that song. Anyway. I don't know. Anyway, what is that? It's a Gilbert O'Sullivan song. Anyway, it's an old I song. I know that! Yeah. You know it? No. no okay. <laughs> I just want you to like me. <laughs> what? <laughs> then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my head, sir! Oh, God. Oh, the shock! Oh, the sorrow, sir! Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm. That's some story. That was some pity. Um, <laughs> um, I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. If you have to label me as a persecutor or a victim, sir, then label me victim. Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well at that, unfortunately. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So you didn't know him? Sir, <laughs> I work in a tiny department devoid of light or other, cre <laughs> other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives. So if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? I had no intention of killing him, sir! None! Nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir! At least someone around here is more confused than I am. Okay. I'm just gonna hold my breath here. Huh? <laughs> 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 Present. 
Um, this is this not just for someone else. Let's just play Luminol in his hand for fun. Yeah. Um, oh! you should drink this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh, Mr. Yuck, my favorite! Sounds great! Mr. Yuck, my favorite! Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Mr. Yuck, my favorite! <laughs> oh, Officer Beacons, this is for you, this Mr. Yuck, I don't know. Drink it. <laughs> I'm scared of dying, sir! It's okay, I just wanted you to take a look at it. That's it, sir! Last night, sir! That's the one! I was an apple, sir. In my dream, sir. And I was... I was being peeled! On second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. Hmm, he's overreacting to the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. No, I'm just like this, default! <laughs> God. Uh... I'm just that... gonna take your picture, Officer Meekins. No, I'll take my soul! <laughs> that didn't... So, I'm supposed to check her a fourth one, I assume? Yes. Uh, do I show him the other knife? No, or... he doesn't like knives. Mm -hmm. Uh, give him a, a lovely state. What was what? What are what are we? Um... We're trying to get permission to go to the evidence room. Yeah, but also, what were we just talking about with him? Um, he passed out. I know it's a little the distracting when you hear that wonderful voice. I know. Um, God, I was so enchanted. Total strangers. Who's total strangers? Oh, uh, oh, okay. I should show him the idea. That'd be a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think you could take a look at this? That's it, sir! That's it! That's it! <laughs> That's what? My head was a blank until this this very moment! But sir, now I remember! I remember, sir! <laughs> you mean... You remember what happened? Correct! That card... That card was the cause of it all! It's turning more Miss Piggy <laughs> yeah, by the <laughs> They gotta find a middle ground here. <laughs> this ID card? Exactly, sir! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is angry. That's exactly it! Nothing can be more exact, sir! Nothing! I'd better pry into this one a little deeper. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Mm. Just can recall. you tell me uh, what it is you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I, I'm a lost little pledge patrolman. Lost little lamb, if you will. I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman who was <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Try doing less of Muppet. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> but it's so fun. <laughs> and my, my throat is dying. Yeah. Um I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman was in this evidence in, in was was in the evidence. Well, I mean, can you just do something like this? What okay, if his like inner monologue was like more like seductive? I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman. <laughs> 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 but he, no, no, I'll just, tone down the Muppet a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I basically said this. Okay. No, he was in the evidence room. And oh. that's why you thought he looked suspicious. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. No, it's it's losing it. Now go, do it, go back. <laughs> it's it's better with the more act. cheese. It's so <laughs> macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing! Suddenly he pointed a knife at me! Now, is that voice sustainable? Yeah. <laughs> it's, he just shouts so much. Right, so make sure it's sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, what? Sir, I assure you I was as flustered as you are right now. So I whooped and leapt at him! It's getting deeper now. Yeah, yeah, I just, <laughs> oh, sorry, no. I keep. I'm just such, a, <laughs> such an interesting. Yeah. I, I think you, you know, just kind of. Yeah. Just maybe. I'll do my George Lucas. Like we never had a character as funny as the. Soft, <laughs> soft I think. I think Key might be keep the pitch up, but don't go as Muppety. Maybe. Okay. Try that. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him. <laughs> he yells all the time. Do unto others before they'll do unto you. My own father's words, sir. What happened then? Well, my eyes, sir, everything went white. When I woke, I was here. Right. So, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. 
Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim who we met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir! That, that, that's what I wanted to say! That's good, right there, okay. yeah. That is... I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here? They told me that it had to be him, sir. On that day, at that time. Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly? No. But the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? From the security camera. The cr the crime! My crime! The crime! I swore to stamp it out! It's there! It's me! It's on the tape! Hmm. Uh. Hmm. You wait until now to tell us this? I'm sorry! Really sorry, sir! I'll hand over my badge! I don't deserve it! You really don't. No, thanks. I have my own. It poops. Well, I guess we better go <laughs> check out the crime scene. <laughs> Take whatever money you got on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. 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 Uh. Now what do we do? Let's go to the criminal affairs. Department. That voice is obnoxious. Do 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 do. Hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the head detective's desk. At the head detective's desk. It's Chief Gant. Are you sure this is all? Hmm? You know what it means if there is anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked the drawers, the lockers, the garbage cans, <laughs> the garbage cans, <laughs> the coat pockets, the pillowcases, behind the computer monitors, the coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away. Do you? Uh, yes, sir. We'll scour the place again, sir. Head detective looks a little flustered. <laughs> right, oh my boy. How you been? Swim much? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Chief Gant, reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Oh. Is this his theme? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played before. Yeah. But. It's oh, been a while. It has been. It's been a while. Since uh, I could hear this. Recall Chief Gant's theme song. <laughs> um, is Edgeworth going to be okay? Oh, worthy? Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an, inqu an inquisition. Yep, well, we've had no end of trouble with the boy since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having one of our top people sitting in the defendant's seat. Yeah. Now you got someone else found guilty in that case, right, right, oh? God, I karma. Forgot his front facing sprite. <laughs> A legend he was, undefeated in his 40 year career. But in court, you fixed it so he was caught for forging evidence. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for Worthy. What? It's downright odd, I tell you. I mean, it happened at exactly the same time. The murder at the prosecutor's office. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, Righto, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive, and I can't talk about it. Sensitively shy. Wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets. Can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the head detective's trap shut. Ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier? Huh? You saw that? Whoops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the head detective to do. 
Let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. Uh, discreetly. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the sake launch is for someone else. Why don't you try talking to the actual chief of detectives? Wait, can you? Yeah, try and do an examine. Take a look back there. Oh, he's just a guy that's right there. I am a guy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God, I even forgot the voice I was doing already. <laughs> Sorry, I had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief police want you to do? Yeah, I want to do more NYPD blue. So keep going. Well, see over there? That's good. That's Goodman's desk. Wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. This chief has had like five different voices <laughs> yes. this there. So nothing belonging to Detective Gumshoe is still- uh, Goodman is still here? Of course not! Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. <laughs> he didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report. It's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21st. I'll make a note of that just in case. I was gonna say, did Detective Goodman lose something? Yes, his life. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably get a quick look around the crime scene. Do I have to... Let's ask, let's talk to Gaunt. Gaunt. Permission granted. <laughs> Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Mm hmm? Well, I never thought the day would come when Raito asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the... Uh, I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. I was just now meeting him. No. Do you not remember? He was in court. No, but I mean, like, I... Uh, like, uh, it's like, I, I never thought the day would come where, like, I guess oh, it's a joke. But, yeah. Like, now, right -o. I think he's also known about Phoenix since he mentioned, like, oh, you did the case with Bon Karma, so... Uh, Actually, I'm sorry. I, I don't need to investigate after all. right -o, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow 50 bucks? I'd give them 50 bucks, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show, you never, you, uh, you never know until you ask. And for you, here, you can borrow this. Huh? Hey, this is detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Y yes, sir. It's an honor. It's an honor. I don't know. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. Before I forget, two ice cream cones. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks, Mr. Gant. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty cool on my lap, doesn't it? Lapel. 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 Um, just think, a real ID. Lapel? Yep. Lapel. You seem happy. <laughs> happy. Lapel. <laughs> Yes, sir, because, sir, we get to go into the evidence room now, sir. Roam. Not room. Roam. Ro Roam, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this place is a bad influ influence. 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 On the girl. On the goil. On the goil. All right. Um, oh, so this goes to the other police department, but the other one doesn't do it. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> nobody can. <laughs> go ahead and actually, uh, no, no, go back. Oh, wait, go uh, ahead and examine the entrance. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, do, do, do. okay. That probably doesn't matter. The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha. The card reader is turned off. See? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made my Bambina's sky so gray? It's Bambina. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Officer Marshall! <laughs> somehow I knew. What's that somehow I knew look for? As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! That card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw? Well, what you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Beep! Looks like the card reader's on again. 
while we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you, hombres. You're busy then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Oh. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us, hombres. But what if we give you... <laughs> a knife. A knife! Um, <laughs> a juicy steak. That smell. Ah, reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. Wh what's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see. I see. I I don't see. I wonder what it means. Oh, there goes our steak. All right, Bambina, you win. Ask and anything. Finally. <laughs> it seems like he's willing to talk. How come everyone's reading my mind in this episode? I know. <laughs> You're the only not psychic person in this mm. universe. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? Emma does a lot of the asking. In, yeah. yeah. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Is it because they're just trying to, like, introduce her? Like, hey, look at this character. Because she's like, yeah, maybe. And also, I don't know, she's very science and investigate -y. I see. Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Ah, that poor little doggy. Poor guy. I keep getting his name wrong and call him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detective two years ago, well, it might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know? So, what were you doing around 515 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed Zippy. No, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here, anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang-up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take to machines much. Kind of like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your steak, you know? Wow, he doesn't like his veggies. He's a meat man. Ugh. Miss Star told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what, they, what actually happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our case! That's right. The evidence transferals. Edward was talking about the transferals. Two. <laughs> I talked about him three. <laughs> Me four! <laughs> get out of here. Get, 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 get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm jail. I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well... I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. Oh, just a big veggie hater. The easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. You must have, like, the meanest farts. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be my first thought, but all right. <laughs> That's all I think about is, like, is his farts. Oh, that is a spicy tamale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. That one was peppery. Yeah. <laughs> if nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard, and you reckon? One more thing. 
When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. That's the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card passed through. Oh. 420. <laughs> So, Wait, that's a crazy idea. Wait, 420? That's like marijuana. <laughs> and 7777777. Lucky. Lucky. So this is the ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina. I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't. I'm going to wait. I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe there's some way I could prove that record is tied to the stabbing. Impossible! <laughs> Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transferal thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They're kept here under the Prasad and detective supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So, what happens to that evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the police station. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. Um, we need to prove that, like, I don't know if we have to go to the evidence room first before. No, we, we need to. We need to prove that it's important. Yells the list of numbers. Yells. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess it's probably the same ID, right? See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us the ID number on the ID card reco uh, record. There it is. Look, the fourth number. It's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when that incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. It was uh, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. Uh, uh, uh. You okay wait. there, Bambina? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, have some whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer luminol. <laughs> but wait, what did Officer Meekin say? Now, uh, if you combine them, mm. <laughs> <laughs> we got to name. We got to come up with the name of that cocktail. Yeah, what yeah. Would be? the Mr. Yuck. The, yeah, it's the I think in yeah. flashbacks we should do Angel's idea, a really <laughs> sexy, sultry okay. voice. Okay, hold on. I've been like, I, I, I I've, I've had a, a nose here. I've been, a nose here. I, just, I've been trying to hold back a sneeze. All right, I think I can do this. All right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Officer Meekins, huh? Or, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So you asked Detective Garman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing. Suddenly he pointed a knife at me. That's what he thinks he sounds like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Suddenly he pointed his knife at me. <laughs> if he had if he had his ID card, and this is actually back to you. Yeah, if he had his ID card then. Why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Mm. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Now Wait. let's go in that room. Oh, will it let us go? Okay. Go. Wow. It's where they keep the bodies. No. Evidence. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. Must be over, over here. here. <laughs> this case must be over here, <laughs> where it's louder. So, this is the evidence room? It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. N nice try, Mr. Wright. Y y you can't scare me. Yeah, you're right, Emma. 
Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Don't come any closer, Lee. Oh, Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So, is it true what I heard? Why, what would they do? Uh, oh, they go, ooh, it's really scary. Righto, please, do I look like a selfish... Oh, no, righto, please, do I look like a selfish man? <laughs> Look, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow 50 bucks? I'll give them 50 bucks, no problem. Here's 50 bucks, man. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gant will loan anyone 50 bucks, even me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what you're talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Uh, boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the chief, so now you're boss for a day. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Gee, thanks. I got you a little boss hat. Here you go. Just a party <laughs> hat that says boss. First of all, you'll want to have this. It's a certificate of being a boss. Yeah. <laughs> well... Why don't we smack around some more ghosts in the evidence room tomorrow? No, no, I would highly advise against that, pal. Go smackers! Go smackers! Smack that ghost the ass! Smack it, smack it, smack it! Smack my ghost up. <laughs> <laughs>